Hi, Math Wizards. This is Dr. Val, and today we're going to talk about the idea of multiplication and multiplying times tens. Here's a story about exercising at home. Today I did 10 push ups at a time. I did six sets of push ups during the day. How many push ups did I do today? So that's a math problem. We want to figure out a number for how many push ups we did during the day. So our first question is, is this a story about different size groups or about equal groups? About doing the same number of push-ups over and over and over again. If this is a story about equal groups, then it's probably either multiplication or division. If it's a story about different numbers, happening at different times, then it's probably an addition or subtraction story. So now that we know what kind of a story it is, let's go ahead and take a look at what this might look like if we were working on it on a number rack. So this is a number rack. This number rack is an app from the Math Learning Center. You can get it online for free or you can buy a number rack, or you can use some other kind of manipulative. I really do recommend that you find some way to show your thinking and to understand this idea of making equal groups. So in this case, we were doing 10 push-ups every time, and we did six sets, or in this case rows, of 10. So now I get to figure out how many push-ups, how many beads on the number rack, is that all together? Is that 10 six times? This is what you're going to be learning about during goal one multiplication. The idea and the products, the answers, for different times 10 problems. And this is a times 10 problem. Now, when I look at this number rack, I could count the number of beads in those six rows, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. But I don't want to really spend my time skip counting. And the reason for that is that skip counting works okay for a while, but when you start getting into more uh, complicated, bigger problems as you move up into the higher grades, skip counting just takes way too long. And it makes it the other kinds of more complicated problems just way too hard. So rather than practicing skip counting, I'd like you to think about other ways that you can see how many beads there are or how many push-ups I did. In this case, I might notice that there are two rows of 10, and I'm pretty sure that's 20. I don't really have to count those. And then there are two more rows, so that's 20, and two more rows, so 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60. That's one way I could think about it. Another way that I might think about it is to notice that there are five rows of 10 beads that start with a red color. And that's kind of easy for me. I already know that 5 times 10 is 50. If you don't know that yet, that's OK. You'll learn it. But if you do know that five groups of 10 is 50, then one more group of 10 is just 60. So that's a way to figure it out. Those are the kinds of strategies that I hope you'll be thinking about and getting confident about as you work on goal one multiplication. 
Now that we know that this problem is about equal groups, we also get to think a little bit about, do we have enough information to multiply? In this case, we know that we did 10 push-ups at a time, and we did six sets of the same number of push-ups each time. So we actually know that we have the same number of equal groups, and we know that number is six. We did six sets of push-ups. And we know how many push-ups were in each set, in each of those groups. There were 10 push-ups in each set. And what we don't know, the question that we're trying to answer, is how many push-ups did I do in total? So that's our question. And after looking at the number rack, we now are pretty sure that 6 times 10, 6 groups of 10, is 60. So that's the story about multiplication. Now here are two more word problems. And take a look. Which one do you think might be about multiplication? And which one do you think might be about addition? Did you decide that the top problem about four sit-ups and 10 more sit-ups is not about equal groups. It's about different size groups. In that case, it's not a multiplication problem. So it's an addition problem. The bottom problem about four sets of sit-ups with 10 sit-ups in each set, that's a story about equal groups. So it is a multiplication problem. In a while, you'll be ready to talk about goal one division, dividing with tens. And at that point, we'll talk about how you can decide when a problem is about multiplying and when an equal groups problem is about dividing. They're related operations, and we'll talk more about that later. So. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy going through the different activities for goal one multiplication. Enjoy and be facts wise.